my name is Steve Robinson and welcome this morning on this uh, not quite so beautiful day. It's raining down here in Kent. I don't know about the rest of the country or overseas. Uh, the idea is for me to give you in a, in, a, in a condensed amount of time, 15 minutes, some general advice about choosing your degree and university. I'm going to give you a bit more of an overview of some of the programmes we do and a few uh, bits of general advice as to what's available degree wise here at Kent some of our levels of expertise, our particular areas of uh, expertise to do with employability and Aspire, which colleagues will also be talking about uh, a little later. First of all, I've got to say to everybody out there in Zoom land that are listening, uh, well done. It's, it's super, super important to do your research. You have a huge choice of universities, 130, 140 universities in the UK, big, big list. Most of them offer business courses, so do your research. I get a lot of phone calls um, from students in late September saying, oh, I've started at University of X. It's not quite what I thought. Can I please transfer to Kent? My friends are really enjoying it there, whatever. Please do your research here, yeah, online research. Hopefully when campuses reopen, come and visit the campuses as well. But it's super important. You've got a huge choice. And it's a big investment, yeah, 9,000 plus for your fees, your maintenance. So you're spending in terms of debt and borrowing or maybe your parents up towards 50,000 pounds. So do your research, it's super important. Um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of choosing your degree, uh, you've got, uh, uh, let me just, that's it, cool. In terms of choosing your degree uh, from all these different universities, this diagram here sort of sums up the things that are available to you in terms of business related degrees. Most universities will offer what is called a general business degree. These are sometimes called business. They are sometimes called management. They are sometimes called business studies at the top of the diagram there uh, or business and management. These are super popular. Lots of students do general business degrees. We offer one, we offer one on our Canterbury campus called management. More about that in a minute. We also offer one on our Medway campus called Business and Management. Business and Management at Medway, Management at Canterbury. These are general business degrees that look at all areas of business. Students like this because it opens up all sorts of gateways and pathways going forward into different types of careers. So they are super popular. But a lot of students, and some of you may be uh, those type of students or potential applicants who want to specialize straight away. So if you look in the diagram at the bottom there, you can see that there are more specialist business related degrees that allow students to specialize straight off the bat, if you like. By far the most popular is accounting and finance on the left there, but increasingly popular are things to do with marketing, digital marketing and sales, finance and investment. HRM, human resource management, not quite so popular at undergraduate level these days, tends to be a more of a, uh, more of a um, postgraduate course. Similarly, production and operations, that tends to be more postgraduate these days. But you see on the right hand part of the slide there, a lot of universities will offer bespoke, if you prefer the word, specialist degrees that reflect their particular specialisms or locations. University of Aberdeen with oil related degrees, City University with finance degrees. Here at Kent Business School, we offer degrees in international business that reflects our location and our academic staff, but also specialized, uh, specialized degrees in finance and investment, again, echoing our staff experience and qualifications. So you've got to sort of decide, do you wanna do a general business degree? Very popular, very, very popular business and management or management, or do you want to do a more specialised degree where straight off the bat you are specialising? Here at Kent Business School, we give you a variety of these options. So there's a variety of these things that you can do. Um, uh, <clears throat> our first specialised degree that Sadiq mentioned is, oh, let me go back a slide, forgive me, I'm very sensitive, this clicker with me today. Our first specialised degree is accounting and finance. We have about 150 students do accounting and finance every year. It's for students that want to go on possibly and have a career as professional accountants, either ACCA, SEMA, ICAEW, SIPFA, this sort of stuff. Uh, so certified management, chartered, or it's for students that perhaps see themselves, um, uh, possibly see themselves working in financial services, banking, wealth management, um, investment banking, insurance, that sort of thing. 
Um, it's a three year degree, as all of our degrees are, more about that later. Uh, it has accreditations that Sadiq mentioned before. Uh, important thing to mention with our accreditations, they uh, do not involve, if you're a student, they do not involve any extra work. There's no extra work. And if you're a parent, they do not involve any extra money. It is part of the halo effect, if you like, of our courses. So for accounting and finance, if you do this degree, you are further up the ladder when you graduate if you want to go on to become a professional accountant. It usually truncates that time by at least 18 months to two years. We are typically, if you look at the bottom of the slide there, for 2022 entry, we are probably going to be looking at around BBB, maybe BBC, that sort of band is what we're looking for. We want, obviously, English and maths at GCSE. You've got to have passed that. If you're a BTEC student, we typically look for DDM if you're doing an extended diploma. So around sort of 112, 120 UCAS points for most of our programmes is what we're looking for. The accounting programme, as I said, very popular, about 150 students uh, every year. Uh, we also offer on our Canterbury campus uh, our marketing programme. This is, impro this is um, improving more and more popular, proving more and more popular. We have about 80 to 100 students doing marketing. This is uh, very attractive for students that perhaps see their future working in digital marketing, brand management, advertising, perhaps PR, merchandising, those sort of areas. Um, it's accredited by the CIM. You see that halfway down the slide, the Chartered Institute of Marketing. What does that mean? It means, again, when you graduate, you are further down the road to professional status because you have that accreditation. Our marketing degree has a sort of general first year because we feel it's important not only that you study marketing, but you should also be aware of finance spreadsheets, uh, some quantitative techniques, the general business environment and management as well. We feel that very important. But in the second and third year, you're doing full on marketing. So you're looking at the, the modules to do with branding, buyer behavior, international marketing, marketing research, um, digital marketing, marketing strategy, new product development. You get the idea. Uh, again, same sort of level we are looking for around BBB, BBC, uh, DDM. Uh, and if you're doing an IB qualification, we typically look for around 32, 33 for the IB as well. The marketing program improving and it's uh, increasing in its popularity. That's also on our Canterbury campus, as is international business. I teach on this program. Well, I teach a little bit on all the programs, to be fair, but mainly on international business. This is a business degree and it's particularly attractive in the second and third year for people and students clearly who want to do a, a degree that has an international flavour. So you look at international business, emerging markets, cross-cultural management. Uh, I teach European business. So we look at Nordic, Anglo, uh, Germanic, Mediterranean styles of business. It's also accredited by the Chartered Management Institute, Chartered Management Institute, CMI, and the Institute of Export and International Trade. So it has a double accreditation. Again, no extra cost, no extra money. About half the students on this program, and we have about 100 every year on this particular program, about half tend to be UK British students. So somebody from, I don't know, Reading or Southend, and about half our students are international students from all over the world. So you might come from Reading or Southend, but be sitting next to somebody from Maastricht or Mumbai or Delhi or whatever. Do you get the idea? Very cosmopolitan course, this one, uh, about half the students. Generally, KBS is a very cosmopolitan school anyway, between a quarter and a third of our students are non-UK British, so from all over the world. This particular degree is really aimed at students that see themselves working for international firms, multinational corporations uh, in the future, that sort of thing. Um, moving on, our general degree, as Sadiq mentioned at Canterbury, is called management. This is for students that want to do a general business degree, take different options, look at the key areas of business, such as strategy, leadership, you'll be looking at things like uh, HRM, human resource management, but it also allows you in your final year to take different pathways, if you wish, pathways to do with people management or business analytics. So management is, if you like, our general business degree. Again, very popular, about 100 students do this every year. It's for students that don't necessarily want to specialise, but they want to have those key areas of business, but you can specialise a little bit in your final year 
by taking those pathways. Um, lo uh, uh, at our uh, Medway campus, uh, we have uh, a business and management program. This is up on our Medway campus in uh, Chatham Maritime. Business and management uh, is our general business program at Medway. So I don't want to confuse you, but we have management at Canterbury. That's our general business program and business and management at Medway campus. Again, this is for students that want to look at all aspects of business. So you're looking at things to do with finance, marketing, HR, strategy, operations, all aspects of business in your degree. Again, it's accredited by the CIM. Uh, similar sort of offer levels around BBC, we're looking at DDM, maybe DMM and extended diploma. But that's up on our um, uh, Medway campus uh, in next to the historic dockyard at, uh, at Chatham. Also at Medway, uh, we have our um, finance and investment degree. Uh, sorry, I meant to mention the business and management degree is very popular. We have that at Medway, about 120 students every year, roughly 120. Finance and investment, more specialised degree at Medway. We have between 30 to 40 students do this programme every year. This is clearly for students that see their future working in financial services, maybe investment banking, wealth management, insurance investment analysis, portfolio management, you get the idea. These are the sort of topics you look at on this degree. It's affiliated to the very prestigious CFA uh, qualification. So it's got that recognition and um, students do a sort of a, a general first year that introduced you to financial markets, quantitative techniques. You look at um, different aspects of the financial system, and then you really drill down in your second and third year to look at portfolio management, investment analysis, um, uh, derivatives, these sort of things. All these things I'm telling you, if you think he's talking too fast, he's going too mad, all of this is on our webpage under Kent Business School undergraduate. You can look all this up under course structure. I'm just going to give you a flavour today. Last but not least, uh, Sadiq, my colleague a little earlier mentioned it, we are developing a brand new degree for 2022 entry. We are sort of um and ahhing over the title. It's probably going to be called Business and Entrepreneurship. So it's going to be a business degree, still a business degree, but the idea is the idea is it will look at aspects of innovation, entrepreneurship. It will also look at uh, new business startup. So it's students who want to do a business degree but are also interested in enterprise, innovation, new business startup. And that will be starting hopefully in 2022. So when many of you will be thinking of applying. Um, I'm aware of the time, so I'm gonna move on quite quickly. All of our degrees are three years in length, but, but, but all of them can be four years. So you can do a year in industry. So that would be two years at Kent. Then you do a year in industry work placement year. So you get a degree accounting and finance with a year in industry or international business with a year in industry. We have about in a typical year, 150 students go out on a year in industry. I've had recent uh, tutees go out to places like Hewlett Packard, Bank of America, Microsoft, EA Sports is in the game, uh, Pfizer's, Unilever, IBM, et cetera, et cetera. That's something, if you're not sure, my advice is apply to this because it's easy to opt out if you're not sure. That makes your degree four years in length. Alternatively, you can do a year abroad studying. So two years at Kent, then go away to one of our partners. Later on in the Q&A session, we've got Anna with us, who's a second year IB student. And Anna will tell you that I think in a month's time, she's off to South Korea to study for a year as part of her degree, but we have places all over the world, mainly in Europe, but you can go to South Korea, China, Hong Kong, Australia, and mostly even in Australia, they teach in English. So that's quite handy. Uh, you can also do joint honours, which is like a half and a half. So business and economics, there's different variations you can do here. These are not easier. They are not harder degrees. But it allows you to combine two degrees from different subjects business and a language, for example, accounting and finance and law, for example. It's the same cake cut in half, if you like. That's how it works. So think about this. What degree do you want to do? Do you want to do a year in industry? Do you want to do a year abroad? Perhaps you want to do a joint honours. So that's some things to think about. You need to weigh up, do your research, look at the programme structures, look at the student support, the campus. Do you want to be on a um, 
a campus university like the University of Kent or a more urban uh, environment. So think about, you know, do you visit, see what you prefer, that's super important, weigh it up, look at the assessments. This is the advice I would give you, do your research. Um, here at Kent, we think we tick all the boxes. You, people ask, what are you good at at Kent Business School? I will say everything, we tick all the boxes. We are very good at teaching. We are very good at research. Fantastic location, superb student support, fantastic support there from all sorts, study support, language support, pastoral support, all sorts of things. Um, how do you choose? I've already said, do your research, go on virtual tours. If you can, when campuses reopen, go and visit. It's such a shame you can't come and visit us. We have one of the best campuses in the UK. According to who? According to me. I've visited most, so I would say we're definitely a top 10 campus. But, you know, clearly I'm biased, but, you know, the proof of the pudding is if you came to visit us, you'd get a flavour. So do your research, look at the lead tables. They're a bit misleading, but ask friends, family, etc. Uh, why study with us? Um, I'm aware I'm running out of time here, but why study with us? Because of our employability, more from uh, Nicola in a moment about that, because of our sustainability innovation. Sadiq mentioned our accreditations, our professional recognition, our corporate connections, the guest speakers we get coming in from IBM, Microsoft, and many SMEs that uh, Nicola will tell you, uh, excuse me, that Rebecca will tell you about shortly. Um, it's not just about academic study, it's about building up your graduate skills. We want you to build a resilience, a robustness, those sort of knowledge skills, transferable skills, presentation skills. When you're here, we have a big focus on these sort of graduate skills while you're here from the first year upwards. So when you do graduate from Canterbury Cathedral or Rochester Cathedral, you'll have not only your academic qualification, but also these robust academic, excuse me, non-academic skills as well. Very important graduate skills. Uh, in a second, my colleague uh, uh, Nicola will tell you all about our employability skills. So I'm going to skip over this because of time, but Nicola will tell you more about that. And equally aspire, Rebecca, hopefully after Nicola, will tell you a bit about our business startup journey. So the key thing is the amount of support we give. We have uh, award-winning support. Uh, we have a support team if you've got any problems. We have tutees, if you like, advisees. You can come and see me every week, either face-to-face -face or online. I help with student problems. Some students I hardly see. I just email them and they're fine. Other students I see quite regularly. So it depends what level of support you might need. But the key thing is the support, the safety nets are there. OK, I think I've run over by two or three minutes, so please, please forgive me. There will be a Q&A section, a session in about half an hour with myself and some students and other colleagues. So if you've got any burning questions, then please save them, put them in the Q&A and we can have them in the Q&A session. 